Alright, hey there team, and welcome back to this next installment of Call of Juarez Gunslinger. Uh, we're just starting chapter 2, so we're doing the first mission of that, where we've gone down to Mexico to hunt down some bandits, I believe. So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. And yes, he was working for old man Clown. Hey, fucking run. I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! I did my best to help those poor passengers. Moments later, the attackers were dead. And I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. I like, I do like the narration style. It reminds me of Bastion, if any of you guys have played that. Um, Bastion was a game where the narration changed slightly based on... None. It was then I wondered if the rocks weren't hiding more bandits. Was that all of them? Or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attack from on high like Apaches often did. They would appear in great numbers from above and rain down lead on their hapless enemy beds. Making use of the high ground and whatever else. Yep, the Apaches always appeared out of nowhere, and there never seemed to be an end to them. Hold on, were you attacked by Apaches? W what happened to the cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's cowboys attacked me Apache style. I was in a pitched battle, but I was holding my own against an overwhelming enemy force. See, at the time, I was still pretty green, but often blunder into regrettable situations. But I just kept shooting at anything I could see up in those damn rocks. Well, that, I'm actually kind of proud of that string. Um, eh. I don't know what top break rhythm mechanism, the mechanisms are. Mm. Oh yeah. I didn't see Ringo, but I knew he was with the Cowboys. He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong, and I was determined to have my revenge. But to get to Ringo, I knew I'd have to find my way past these other assholes first. Unfortunately, I was running out of ammo. Another perfect example of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. Finally, they managed to corner me. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed pretty slim. Luckily, serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. Okay, I have one bolt left, so I guess I'll... Gosh dang it. I ran ahead as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears. 
but I wasn't about to roll over and die. I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking? Going up against a gang like this. Nowhere to run. They were hunting me like I was king. And I swear to God, that's how I felt. See, I'm I just liking... kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. I'm liking this change of sequ uh, this change of sequence. Something miraculous happened. Like mana from heaven, I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. <laughs> the old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. Bat Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good, and he would know. And imagine my surprise when I found yeah. a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. Okay, so G for fast throw, on, which is probably going to be more likely used. That stroke of good fortune evened the odds and bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. All right, Jesus, we get it. They were right where you wanted them. There That's you. right, Jack. Okay, thanks. I was Sentences done running. Like and the old man's boys were not expecting that. I don't no, like how this sir. entire map is very... It makes it hard to like spot enemies. My fury knew no bounds. Where are you going? It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. Uh. I yelled out at the top of my lungs, Clanton, I'm coming for you! A little stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. Because that old fool had a gallon gun and enough bullets to last him till Kingdom Cup. But I knew I could not let that deter me. Not if I was to find and kill Ringo. I needed to get that old man off that gun. Summary. Uh, things, sentences I don't think I finished because I'm bad about being cut off by the game. Uh, yeah, you should start like Bastion, changes based on your actions and flows very well with the actions you take. Like that. Don't like that everything's kind of brown because it makes people hard to identify. Most everyone thought it was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon. But it was just me. Ah! Well, thank 
goodness I didn't have to restart from the very beginning. That's nice. You think I don't see you? Cowboys made it out of there alive and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps, and that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the old K Corral. And so that's it for the first section of chapter two. Um, the first mission down in Mexico. And apparently the next time we'll be having a gunfight at the sawmill. So that you'll have that to look forward to. Alright. Okay then, yeah. That's it for this episode and I will see you next time.